gonna send out the Discord messages to let everybody know that we're live. <laughs> Why not? Oh, maybe some people will come hang out while we color. I've already done a lot of this one, but I need to finish the background and her bow and stuff. And I don't know. I like I like how it's going so far. Maybe I'll start a new one in a little bit. My camera's still kinda shaky, I think. Bully my husband into showing up. Okay, what color is Sarah's bow? Mostly brown? Yeah, so we're looking at like wooden browns here. What pale browns? Come on. my marker bucket on the ground because I literally just have a bucket of markers. I keep shaking my fucking... I keep shaking my desk, but that's just how it is recording from my phone, honestly. Just how it's gonna fucking be. Also, this coloring book is fucking huge. <laughs> It's gonna be mostly a pretty quiet stream today. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I like how the light's hitting her face, actually. That's kind of neat. It looks better on my desk in real life than it does on my screen with that glare, but that is okay. <laughs> Hi, cat. She is definitely one of the funniest characters in Inquisition, honestly. She's great. But I can also kind of see why a lot of people probably don't like her. She's a little bit, you know, she's kind of 
grading and hard to deal with. Um, speaking as someone who is grading and hard to deal with. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, I can see why she might get on a lot of people's nerves. But she is a lot of fun to have around. Yeah, she is really hard to please. The only playthrough um, I actually managed to, like, get a high enough friendship level with her was the one where I was being an asshole on purpose. So, that probably says a lot about her. But we love her anyway. For some reason. That's what people say about me as well. Let's see, how, how do we want to start in on... Well, okay, before I start it on the bow, I'm going to texture the grip a little bit. You aren't hard to deal with to me. Thank you, darling, but you literally told my sister the exact opposite thing last night. You both roasted the shit out of me. Don't pretend you didn't. Just sat there and roasted me. I get no love in this family. Yes, it is okay when I roast you then. Love you. Those are gonna do best for a kind of light wood look. Where did my I had a I had a swatch note card a minute ago. Oh, it's over here. I moved it out of the way because I am a fool and a buffoon. Too skin tone. Too rosy. Mm. That one's iffy. This is the one we use for the grip. I don't know. I think that one's gonna be a little too dark for a base. This one's definitely gonna be too dark for a base, but I do like it. We'll hold on to that one. Yeah, and this one's also gonna be even darker. So those two are gonna be our highlight or highlight shadow colors. Use this one for the grip, so I don't think we're gonna use it for the rest of the bow, which is these two. Use that. Use this. We're gonna do this one. I'm gonna use our Windsor and Newton here, but we're gonna hold on to that one uh, in case I have some areas where I wanna make something lighter. I'm gonna start here in the darker parts.
That looks pretty nice. And then we'll do the top grip before we go in uh, with any colored pencil detailing. Thank you very much. I'm kind of glad that they are um, as good as because I don't actually color very often because I don't super get that far through a piece most of the time anymore as I usually just sketch and I end up not coloring. Oh, I need to make sure this stays actually under what I'm coloring because otherwise it will soak through and ruin the next page. Not that that really matters. It's, it's the egg. Um... But you know, I get I don't want to ruin the paper still. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come over with this one. Egg boy is next. I don't know if we'll do egg boy next. I tend to jump around in this a lot. Then we're gonna get the darker browns again. Make sure to draw a big stupid mustache on him. I don't know if I could bring myself to do that. Um, that seems very in line with your Inquisitor. <laughs> yeah, I can't even tell you that it's not. everyone's having a good day today in chat having a chill day hanging out enjoying the vibes and my shenaniganry That looks pretty good, actually. That looks like some really nice detailing on here. Do the top grip to match now. Hopefully, at least.
honestly, coloring books like this are just a great way as an artist to improve your coloring skills because then you don't have to worry about making the line art look good first. You can just sit down and you can focus on the coloring and you can focus on whatever different part you want to focus on. You can do the background, you can do their face, you can do their clothes. It just, it helps a lot to get a coloring book like this. It really does. Some hatching in here. I love hatching. In high school I thought hatching was the stupidest fucking thing in the world, but now I love it. I feel like getting comfortable with color is one of the best things you can do for yourself whether you're an artist or not because color affects day-to-day -day life so much more than just in art it, it affects everything and it's a really good skill to have to just know what colors are gonna look good next to each other you know when you have browns that are really really similar but just not quite similar you have to know when they're gonna look good together when they're not gonna look good together it just it I feel like it's just a really nice a really nice skill to have and it's not ungodly important but it's nice to have and I, I tend to live life uh, without wearing my glasses very often which means I live my life in a blur of color anyway <laughs> So I, uh, I don't know, I tend to get complimented on my ability to notice color differences more than the average person. <laughs> but, uh, 
it's just, it's something that I think is nice. It's nice to have as a handy little, handy little skill. Oh my god, that looks good. This is like five different browns that are basically the same shade of brown, but not quite. And it looks really fucking good. some some hatching on the sides here just a little bit in the shading area there we go That looks nice. That looks good. Is there anything else I want to do before I get into the background with her? Because I think... Oh, I need to finish the arrow. I haven't done the tip or finished the feathers. Oh, hello, Missy. Hey, go fluff. There's a small fluffy dog passed out under my desk. It's a very sweet little, sweet little small fluffy dog. Let's get in here with this gray blend out our arrow yes there's a fluffy dog it's missy the the old lady the very old lady at this point My mother goes into the office and uh, into her office um, instead of working from home on Thursdays. So Missy comes in here and lays under my desk and pouts until mom gets home uh, later in the day. Pouty pouty little girl. There we go, that looks pretty nice on that feather. Um, I think we'll do the same light gray to start out the metal up here. This one in on top of it will darken some areas. I'm actually shading with a lighter color right now because with markers you can you can get away with that. I did the base as a uh, cool gray number two, and I'm shading with number one. But marker is a lot about using a buildup of color. Oops, kind of going outside the lines there, but that's okay. We'll cover that up when we get to the sky anyway. Now I'm gonna want That's pretty basic, but it looks nice. Let's grab, let's grab a white colored pencil and even just kind of highlight the top here. A 
really faint, but I think it makes a nice difference. I'll adjust that so you can see it a little better on camera. A nice arrow looks there. Okay. What part of the background do we start on next? Do you want to do the sky first, maybe? So I think for the sky, I might have to look up a reference photo for this, but I want to do greens, like with the rift and Inquisition. Because I think that would look nice. I have just a bucket of markers, by the way. Literal bucket. <laughs> Let's see. Dragon Age. Inquisition. The Rift. Hmm. Okay. So we're mostly going to want some cool grays in the background to start. And then we're going to want to layer over with some lighter greens. And maybe a few darker ones. The middle we're really going to want white though. I think I had a white pen. Well, we don't really have the middle on here. So really all we're going to have is the, the kind of outer ed edges of it. Um, there is like a little bit of kind of an orangish yellow in there. So I think we're going to try a little bit of yellow ochre. Do the yellow ochre or medium yellow? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking the ochre because it's a little oranger. I dropped it on the floor. That happens. See if I can get it without smacking my head into things. There we go. Um. And also really quick, I'm gonna take this kind of pale color and I'm gonna work it in to the color pencil on Sarah's Sarah's skin quick. So I want that to blend out a little bit more than it has. Yeah, I think doing greens in the sky. Are you working on Diamond Soul? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, babe. You are more than welcome to just kind of linger and, and uh, listen. Yeah, because when I initially started coloring this, I actually didn't have my markers. Um, they were still in storage. I was using my sister's, and she has a lot fewer ones than I do. Um, so I wasn't really able to do quite all of the coloring and blending that I wanted to. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, let's start on the outer edges with this cool gray. I'm going to kind of define where those outer edges are going to be. And along here. We're going to do this really not too thick. Just going to kind of do a dotty color around the edges of these. So we're just trying to define here really where the edges of our sky is going to be. So we're going to start with that, like that. All right, all right. I'm just going to kind of blend in down here. I'm going to let that kind of dark. 
I'm gonna stop about there. Got a similar thing there. I think under her heart, under her, her horned, her hand. Do the same thing. I'm just gonna kind of do that. I'm gonna get a more bluer, a little slightly bluer gray. I'm gonna come in over the top like that and just kind of do the edges a little bit in these darker spots. Do that. I'm gonna come in again and make sure that I have. Yeah, because you can see it's soaking into the cardboard already. Just gonna get, gonna get soaky. Do that. That really brings out that blue and lightens the rest of this. Blend this edge really, 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 really well. As for our sky, I want a much smoother, much smoother look. I'll shake the camera a little bit, but that's okay. Pat it out. So I'll just put that back on here. Drag upwards a little. There we go. And I get the blending on there. See, this is where this piece of carver becomes really, really important. Because look at that, that big stain right there. And then it doesn't soak through. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna come in to all of these spots. I'm gonna add the gray in. I'm gonna do it kind of haphazardly. Yeah. Yep, that's why I always have a piece of cardboard behind my marker. What are those markers made of? Uh, alcohol. <laughs> um, uh, Water-based markers will stu still do that too, but alcohol-based markers will just dry a lot faster um, and blend nicer like this. Uh... But yeah, even on, like, this is a really nice paper. This is, like, a nice thick cardstock that they made this uh, coloring book out of, thankfully. Um, it's still going to bleed through when you do heavy coloring like that. Because they are incredibly damp. They are incredibly damp. And even though these alcohol-based ones will dry really fast, they are still going to bleed through like a motherfucker. You can kind of see here on these edges, I'm getting a little more haphazard with it. That's okay. All right. Here's where this is going to get a little bit more interesting. Where I'm not totally sure how this is going to play out, but we're going to we're going to try and we're going to start up here in this top corner. Let me get my cardboard out so I can kind of run over it. I got a really bright green up in here for the rift. I'm gonna just keep bringing it around. And this is one of those things where normally I kind of give up halfway through the attempt of coloring that I'm really trying to do. So I really don't know how well this is gonna turn out. Because normally I give up. Um, but I guess we're gonna find out today how this is gonna go. I'm gonna minimize my reference photo so I can still see stream chat while I'm looking at it. Have it in a different tab. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna do this. Okay. And then we're gonna grab our light, our light gray again. And we're gonna bring it through the edges. I'm 
Right through like that. Try and follow the curve of these clouds a little bit. I'm gonna pre-build it up up here. Get a little careful next to the bow. Pre-build it up over here. wider part with it. Still gonna be following the shape of these clouds. Okay. I'm gonna get behind the bow here too. So now we're kind of filling in that part of the sky as well. And I'm gonna take a grip. And I'm gonna go in like this again. Fill in these gaps around the bow. I'm gonna be much thicker and darker with my strokes now. want the sky to kind of darken the farther away it gets. This is also why it didn't matter as much with the arrow bleeding into the sky because we're just gonna kind of blend it right in to what we're doing to the sky. A little bit lighter again. And it's still gonna look pretty dark. And that is okay. There we go. How's that? How are we liking that? I think this is looking pretty nice. I'm gonna kind of get a more circular cloudy look over on this side as well. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. Then, right here in the middle, take our green across. Right across those seams. Bring in a little bit on our fingers. And right on the edge of the bow. This edge of her arm, up under her shirt a little bit, and along the edge of her shirt. Add it into 
your hair. Highlight on our nose, our cheek, and our chin, and on our lip. Along the edges of our eyes. Get a little bit of her brows. Yeah, okay, we're gonna call that good for now for highlighting. I'm just going to focus up on that part just for now. And I'm also going to take in this gray. Get up through. Bowstring. Nice. Very good. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. I'm also going to take in a little bit more green to this guy. Take the fat edge of this. Get that and even in. Come in here. There we go. That looks good. I really like that. I'm pleasantly surprised with how well that turned out. Can't see it quite as well on the screen as in real life because a lot of it's really subtle, especially with where I did the green highlights along her arm and stuff. But I think it still looks really, really fucking good. Um, so then we're going to start in on this really far foreground back here. We're going to make it real simple. We're just going to make it nice and dark. Nice and dark, and then we'll probably bring in some texture to this um, with some colored pencils. Although we might not, we might leave this all pretty, um, pretty basic. You know, I think that would be pretty good. Be pretty pog. dark and yeah a lot of this really really far ground is gonna be pretty flat because I don't want it to be so detailed that it takes away from the foreground. So we're gonna make it pretty, pretty flat.
What's my favorite Let's Play channel? Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite. I kind of jump around to just... Uh, I have ADHD, okay? You can't ask me who my favorite is. All right, I have three videos from seven different channels that I watch five times a week, all right? And then it switches every two months. It switches who it is every two months. You can't ask me who my favorite is. It doesn't work like that. Well, okay. Who would I who would I choose if I had to pick a favorite though? Doesn't stop you from having a favorite. All right, that's that's fair. All right. Uh. I want to say Captain Sparkles. I don't know if he really counts as a Let's Play YouTuber, though, because all his Let's Plays are just different versions of Minecraft. But I think I, he's got to be my answer, though, right? He's got to be. Because uh, he's, like, the only really Let's Play-ish that I... There's always three of them, so there's always a fun conversation going on. That's fair. That's fair. That's generally, I can agree with that. That's important. So I usually try to have um, CJ on with me a lot when I'm doing things is so that you know, we can talk. Or I always pull you, darling, uh, into into the stream chat with me so that I can at least I can at least talk to you. Because otherwise, I just get dead fucking silent, and it's really not that much fun. They played drunk Mario Party? Oh, I think I've I think I've seen some people playing that, yeah. Oh dear. Drunk Mario Party. That sounds like a nightmare. That can't end well. That that can never end well for anyone. Ever. There's a bubble in here. Start bringing him into the next layer. Oh, I forgot to totally- I totally forgot. Land on a red space, lose a mini game, take a swig of beer. Oh no. Oh no. Get a little bit of this into here. Actually, uh, I don't like that. I don't want to do this, but... that and take the green in over the top of it and really work that in there we go that's not too bad that could have been better hangovers for everyone i bet someone gets a star lands on a bowser space you take a shot of liquor Jesus. That sounds like a nightmare for everyone involved. Yeah, you're, you're uh, I can I think it's fair to say you're never going to convince me to play that. All right, I get I get a migraine after one drink. I don't need drunk Mario Party. I really don't. Some Mario Party games have long boards. Oh no. That's even worse. That is even worse. No. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I'm not even a fan of games like Mario Party, really. Usually I don't like playing party games like that. One of them passed out halfway through. Oh no. 
Oh, I don't like that. Those poor, those poor people. Why would they do that to themselves? I mean, I'm sure it's good entertainment and they probably make a lot of money from it. And that's probably why they do it to themselves. But still. Huh. Mario Party is more fun to watch than to play. You just buy luck as a primary factor in a game. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I can agree to that one. Um, I also just, I don't super love party games, like Jackbox games, um, and Cards Against Humanity. Like, back in, in, in college, like, everybody wanted to play those all the fucking time, and I'm just kind of over it at this point. Like, it was fun in high school when you would do it every once in a while, like, fucking for Halloween or something. But then, like, it was every time you hung out in college, somebody would be like, oh, yeah, let's, let's do Jackbox games. Let's do fucking whatever. Uh, card, more Cards Against Humanity. Whatever third version of Cards Against Humanity somebody had. And it was like, uh, no, <laughs> no thanks. I just want to hang out. I didn't come here to spend, no. <laughs> I'll take those games over Mario Party. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm just, I'm not. Those are like a once in a while thing for me. Those take a lot of social energy for me to do. So every now and then for like a birthday party, I'll do them. But when we're just hanging out, no, please. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. I am a poor little, little introvert I don't like referring to myself as an introvert because I don't feel like I fully fit the introvertedness I'm just quiet howdy howdy hi Nikki how you doing howdy 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 Stop putting howdies in the chat because I'm keep, gonna keep fucking saying them and we're just gonna be in a loop of howdies. Howdy, 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 howdy. Welcome to Howdy Hell. Welcome to Howdy Hell. How may I take your order? This entire friend group just exists to terrorize each other with inside jokes and stupid memes. Uh, uh, you know, as it should, right? If your friend group doesn't terrorize each other with inside jokes and stupid memes, what are you doing? God, I just remembered I said I have no balls on stream yesterday. My phone's dying. Hold on. We're just gonna have some random cords across the stream now because we're gonna hope that this will charge my phone. It's gonna be a little bit of lag here. Hold on. It's not charging. Come on. Come on, charge. Okay, hold on. Charging. We're charging, charging, charging. Okay, all right, there we go, there we go. Phone's gonna shake for a minute here, but we're gonna be fine. Just adjust a little. Okay. I like how this background's turning out. 
I don't normally put a lot of focus into backgrounds ever, but I'm glad I found something that works for this one. And using the cool grays in the backgrounds will help uh, differentiate it from like all of the warm tones that Sarah has and it'll help draw it into the cool tones of the greens up here. I still don't feel like that yellow is enough blended in so I'm just gonna, I don't want to use the gray for that. I don't want to use the gray for that. Do I have this a blender? A clear blender? It might be dead but I have clear ink. My oh yeah, he is stiff and dry. <laughs> That's what they called me in high school. Um, I didn't say that out loud. Nobody clipped that. There. Oh god, I got clear ink all over my hand. Should I really be refilling a marker on stream? Probably not. This is gonna be messy and gross. Thankfully, alcohol ink dries quickly. Um, so I don't have to worry about my hand being damp while I'm trying to color. Uh, shake that up. And now we're gonna hope that this works. And if not, I'm just a fool. I think I also just need a new blender uh, marker in general because like the nib needs replaced too and I swear every time I use it I have to refill it and it's it's slowly dying on me anyway I, I should probably get a new one but uh, do I do I remember that when I go to art stores and I look at the markers I don't know no I have enough I'm stupid. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing up here in this top corner, can you? I'm trying to blend in this yellow. Got a little more green into it. Because I do like how it looks. It just it got a little too intense up in this top corner, and I think once it dries there, it'll look a lot better. A lot more intense green. Okay, so we'll give that a little bit while we get back to the background. But I do like how this is patterning out. I swear to God, I saw something walk down the hallway just now. I am the only person home. I'm sure it was just my hair and my peripheral, but I didn't like that. Didn't like that. At all. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm home alone too and that is a mood. Yeah. Oof. Jesus. I don't give a fuck about my goddamn laptop's warranty that doesn't fucking expire for two more months yet. Okay? Like, shut up. I swear to God, ever since that warranty thing has been popping up on my laptop, it's been purposefully running shittier. I swear to God, they're doing it on purpose. It's like, yep, okay, this is when, this is the time of year those pop-ups are going to show up for when your warranty runs out. So we're going to make sure everything lags like shit and you have to restart your laptop three times before the screen will unlock. Because this is capitalism and life is a fucking nightmare.
Welcome to Zelda doesn't make up her own jokes, so she just reuses John Mulaney bits. Eh, is what it is. Oh, your video driver is still updating? Oh my god. Do you know how long that's gonna take? Is that gonna be like an all night thing? Oh, okay. Well, at least it's at 60% now. The way you've been talking about it, I figured it was gonna be like fucking 10 p.m. tomorrow by the time it was done. But if it's already at 60%, that's at least not too bad. I was expecting much worse. <laughs> well, at least, at the very least, it'll be updated and you won't have to worry about it again. What is on the page here? There's something where it's like it's not letting the ink go down. That's so weird. It's got like a it's got like a really slick texture to it. I have no idea what that is. That's interesting. I probably I knowing me, I probably like dripped food of some kind onto this page when I was initially starting it. That sounds like me because uh, I'm just messy. Um I'm a messy, messy person. I'm not that messy. I, I could be a lot worse uh, considering my mental health issues. But still. Um, yeah, I probably dripped food onto it. Truth be told. That's okay. So I don't know what I would have dripped, like what kind of food I would have dripped into that that just is not letting the ink cover it up. Didn't know. Didn't know, didn't know. It's like wax almost, you know? It's weird. Actually, you know what? Maybe I dripped wax onto it. That's also as likely. It's wax all over my fucking desk all the time. Right, the bard songs uh, in Inquisition, they fucking slap. All right, the tavern music that they went hard. Like the soundtrack goes hard in the first place. All right, the Dragon Age soundtracks, Ions are always good shit. But like the then the tavern songs, the bard music, mwah. Chef's kiss. They went fucking ham, all right? They didn't have to go that hard for us, but they did. And I just, I love and adore. I just, I love the Dragon Age games so much. There's so much to love. And they're, they're not nearly as popular as they deserve to be. Genuinely. They are pretty popular. They are pretty popular, I'll admit to that. But they're not nearly as popular as they deserve to be.
<laughs> well, let's be honest. That's kind of just how bards are. You know. Um, <laughs> sometimes you just get followed around by a bard. <laughs> Just ask Morgan. Yeah, try try to live a less interesting life if you don't want a bard to follow you around. Because sometimes it just happens. <gasps> no! Do you guys see what it's ha what's happening here? No! It's, it's drying out! I'm almost out of ink in this marker! No, come on, please! Please, God, no. No. Oh, hold on. If I do this. Hold on. No. This is why I don't do backgrounds with markers. This is why I don't do backgrounds with markers. It's like, wow, this is so much fun. Why don't I do backgrounds with markers? This is why. Hold on. I'm going to switch to the other nub and end. See if it's... It's even fucking drier. It's even fucking drier. No. Please, God, no. Ugh. God, look at this. Look at how, ugh. And you can see, it's like a big white spot forming on there where it's taking out the last of the ink off of the nub. Before long, there's not gonna be nothing there. We're, we're getting this as far as we fucking can. It's gonna be kind of messy, but we're gonna do it. We're getting him as far as we can. See, this is the point at which y'all should be impressed with my coloring skills is how far I'm getting this marker to go. Brian Bloom playing Ratner. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. But I don't know. I could see it, but is it right? Is it right? I'm going to find a darker gray for this last little bit since it's so close to the front. I think this one will do. You know, R.I.P. Cool Gray number seven. You served me well. I'll add him in a new fucking colorless blender to my to get list. If I wasn't like mid streaming, I would text my sister and be like, "Hey, can you can you stop by Blick and get me two new markers on your way home? Blankies, pretty wires." Um. Oh my God, I still haven't announced what this month's giveaway is gonna be for in the Discord, partially because I I don't I don't know what it's gonna be. I I don't have any ideas for what it's gonna be yet. Um. I'm going to stop here for a minute. But yeah, no, I don't... Like, I don't have anything, you know, already lined up for what it's going to be. I did the last couple of months. But I don't have anything on the immediate that I could give away. So I don't know. What should we... What should we have as a giveaway this month? Because I've been, I've been doing Pokemon cards. I could do more Pokemon cards. Um, could do more, like, Potown packs. Could always do that. Uh, cause I, I need to buy some more Potown packs for myself anyways. I need to get, um, some more Shining Fates. Look at the bulk codes. Could always do Sword and Shield base set. Sword and Shield base set's good. 
We did Champion's Path already, so probably not. Probably not again. Um, there's Vivid Voltage. I don't want to do Battle Styles because it's so new. That's a little expensive. That's a little hard to do for me. Um, I don't know. We could do Hidden Fates. That's a, that's a little older of one, but it's still... I think it's still got some a lot of interest, actually. Um, there's a lot of shinies in there still, too, which is pretty fucking sick. Uh, it's got that Cynthia that I want so bad. I don't know. Maybe whoever wins will trade it to me if they, if they pull it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we could do... We could do a bulk pack. We could do a deck. Decks are cool. I like getting those. I don't know. Do no, do no, do no, do no. Booster cards. Those are individuals. Bundles. Why well, do I have her bundles right now? There's the Family Fun Kit. And the Thunder Buddies Combo Wombo. Oh, and the, and the Mad Combo Tea Party Bundle. I don't know. Or we could do just something not Pokemon related at all, too. Um, like, I could give away a Hypixel VIP. That'd be fun. That might get some more people on the server into Minecraft and stuff, you know? I bucks a lot now. Because I know, especially Skyblock on Hypixel, like, it's, it's so full. I had to get um, the VIP rank before I could even get in to the game because Skyblock is just so full. There's so many players. Oh, there's an Easter sale. Sorry, Frank. Man, they've got 20% off ranks for Hypixel right now. That's pretty sick. Anyhow, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'd have to stream Hypixel a little bit more for it to make sense for me to give that away, though. No. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. That's the dead one. What am I doing? Let's grab those. That wasn't the greatest idea. Let me use this one. Speaking of Sarah was never. Um. Got that chunk of the background done. Just leaves this next bit behind her, which I don't know. I don't know what we want to do here. I think. Oh, I don't want to pick up the dead ones. Seven and clear. We're gonna put those over here. 
Um, so yeah, let's see. I think we should do something kind of like grassy, mossy right here. So we're gonna bring like fern and avocado. I'm not gonna use the combos. Um, those are water based. I don't love that. A lot of my greens are really saturated, but I really like saturated greens. Have those. I'll grab the light that we used in the light one we used in the sky. Um, and then these two, which are my go-tos for being quick with her. We'll start with those and see where those will get us. Um, I think we're gonna want to start with something kind of dark and dull. So we'll start with avocado. It's kind of a mid dull, really, rather than dark and dull. Um, but I think that works in our favor here, actually. Yeah, that looks nice. This is just such a beautiful green, too. My toe is really fucking itch, but I have like these big lace up boots on, so I can't fucking get to them. And it's just, it's a massive goddamn pain in the ass. Incredibly distracting. This marker smells really good. I don't know why. looks so fucking nice. I love this color. It's kind of a nice, solid, mossy green. Loving it. Absolutely loving and adoring this. Look at that. Look at that. That's just nice. That's all around just 20 out of 10. Gorgeous, wonderful. Perfectly mossy. Okay. Ugh, yeah, no, I gotta lose the boots. My toes just itch too fucking much. Only wants to itch when you have your mask on? Yeah. Yeah. God. Uh, try having a Pomeranian because every mask in this goddamn house that we put on has clumps of fluff in it even if you can't fucking see them. Alright, they're just, they're there at all times even when you can't see them. Ow. God, my feet fucking, ugh. It just hurts. It hurts when they itch. Cause my skin is so dry right now too. Cause it's been so fucking cold all the time. And of course it hit freezing again last night. Both of 
put the shoes here. Ugh, there we go. There we go. Okay, now I don't have to deal with that. Um, what color do we want to do next? We'll do this one. We'll add this in. No, hmm. hold on. On the other end. Here we go. Ugh, is that too saturated? Yeah. Well, mm, hold on. Go in here with the saturated green for now. I think I've got a plan here. This is going to look really bad for a minute. But I've got a plan. All right, we'll do that. Let me come back with, with the avocado. Go over it. Ooh, that makes a nice green. That makes a real nice green. Yeah, I like that. We'll do that. Get in here with this. Are you writing the prologue right now? Fuck yeah, babe. am I doing? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Anyway. Um. So yeah. I really don't remember what markers I've been using where. That's fine. If my greens don't match, my greens don't match. Shit happens. How is everyone today? How how is our days going? How are our vibes? What have we had for lunch today? I haven't eaten yet because I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. I just forget to eat. Um, I don't know what I want to have for lunch today, right? Because I don't have money, so I can't order anything, uh, which basically leaves me with three different versions of leftover chicken and ramen. And you know, before my dad left to go to go to his work meeting, he bragged he bragged on me about how his work meeting is at some nice Italian place. And I have to eat ramen and leftover chicken for lunch again. Shared the prologue with you. Sick. Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, I will definitely read that. I know I should eat soon. I will. I'll get there. <laughs> yeah. I will, I will definitely, definitely eat soon because my stomach's uh, definitely starting to growl. Growl at me a bit here. God, I just, I love this fucking green. Ah. Oh my god. I'm gonna fuck the green. Nobody clipped that. No, 
somebody clip that I say to the chat full of grandpas who don't know how to don't know how to retweet. <laughs> Okay. I like this. This looks nice, right? Some nice greens. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of the this light green in here. All right. I'm gonna bring in just a little bit here and there. It's gonna be really subtle. You're not gonna be able to see it, but super well. But the nice thing about this is it's going to give it a little bit of texture. It's going to pull up the darker in some spots and replace it with the lighter. It's going to give it a little bit, a little bit more of some texture. And I think that's going to look really nice here on our, like, our mossy cliff edge. See? Gonna give it some nice texture, some nice, some nice color. Okay, uh, we did not bleed through, but I just realized that this was not underneath that, so that was dangerous. But we did not bleed through, so we're good. I'm gonna bring this down because we're gonna work on this bottom part. I don't know what kind of color we want for the rocks over here. Should we stick with the cool grays? Kind of like we did in the background over here. Yeah, we'll use these darker ones up here. So I'm just saying, you know, darling, you're my husband. You have my address. You can send me food. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely kidding. Do not send me food. I mean, you could, but don't. My need to be a clingy asshole combined with my need to not ever take up anybody's time is interesting because I'm constantly saying shit like, oh, you, you could buy it for me, but don't. Don't spend your money on me. But you could buy it for me. Don't spend your money on me. <laughs> I'm getting very mixed messages. At this point, um, are you even surprised? This is how I always am. Five times a day, I'm just, you could buy it for me. Don't, don't spend your money. You could buy it for me though. Don't spend your money on me. <laughs> That's called being a sunder. I'm not a, no. Dumbass. 
God damn it, that's the equivalent of Baca. Fuck. Whatever, you're a furry. <laughs> You know what, babe? You know what? You have a type, and that type is uh, Sundari Redhead. So you don't. Are you surprised that that's what your wife turned out to be? Are you really that surprised? I never said I was surprised. <laughs> Good, you shouldn't be. You got yourself into this. God, you know, I wasn't sure when I started getting into these two colors how I would like um, how they look together. Here, hold on. I'm going to move a couple of things up here. I'm going to scoot this up so you guys can see those. I wasn't sure how I would feel about these two colors down here in the rocks, but you know what? It looks really good. It looks like some nice shale. Another absolutely fantastic Dragon Age character, by the way. Love her. There's a page in here with her. There's got to be. There's one of every companion in here, so there's got to be shale. We we love a chicken stomper. We love a strong, rocky woman. Okay, what do we think? What do we think? Because I'm thinking good. I'm thinking good. I like that a lot. I like this a lot, a lot, a lot. We're going to bring it in to the top layer here. And also, we're going to kind of do the little rocks up here. Looks nice. That looks really nice. God, my stomach is growling at me, but I want to keep coloring. I'm not going to take a break for lunch just yet. I'm at least going to finish this section of rock. I'm just I'm just saying if somebody bought me lunch I could I could keep sitting here and keep coloring for longer because I wouldn't have to get up and go and go make food you know <laughs> I'm entirely kidding don't don't buy me lunch I already made my husband spend $30 on Minecraft today. I don't need to make him spend 20 to buy me food on top of it. Like, I, I, I don't need to do that. I'm sure 
I'm sure I can manage. But I am still gonna wait a little bit before I get into that, before I get into food. I want to make sure I get this nice and finished. Um, <laughs> I love you too, darling. You're very cute. so cute. I love you. My husband, ladies and gentlemen. The biggest cutie who ever could cutie cute cutie. We love and adore one adorable man. even though he's a furry. And if he wasn't expect expecting that roast, that's on him. That's on him for having a Sonic the Hedgehog profile picture. I'm just like slowly waiting for the playback to catch up uh, to me saying that to see what his response is going to be. If he has one, he might just ignore it completely. I have been roasting him for being a furry all week anyway. He might be over it at this point. chose to ignore it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I'm I'm overdoing the furry jokes a little bit. I, I'll admit to that much. I'm I'm maybe going a little little too hard on the furry jokes. They're getting they're losing their touch. They're losing their edge. But what else am I supposed to make fun of you for, darling? What else is there to make fun of you for? You're too cute otherwise. I have nothing else to make fun of you for. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do we stop here? Do we finish the wall behind her? The fact that you're a weeb. Well, okay. There's that. Thank you for pointing that out. Now I have, now I have a new joke to run. You've, uh, you've played yourself. You made it too easy uh, for your wife now to make fun of you for being a weeb. You should stop here and get some food. I don't, I mean, mm, I don't want to. I want to, but I don't want to. Like, I, bo I both want to stop here coloring wise, but I also don't want to stop here coloring wise. And I want to go get food, but I also don't want to go get food because I don't want to eat because mental illness, isn't it? Um, so, I don't, I know that I should. I know that I should, and you're gonna use that please on me, and you're gonna be cute. You can come back later. I know, I don't wanna stream twice in one day though. So, if I stop here, I'm not gonna stream any more of it. Um, I might come back and color some more of it on my own later, but I won't I won't be streaming it. Um I don't know. I don't know. Real quick though, before I do go, I am going 
Let's add a little bit of detail to the rocks down here. Because I still don't know what I want to eat. Right? And also, this is looking, this is adding just kind of a nice texture to the rock down here. That I really like. That adds a really nice texture. <sighs> yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll be done. We'll be done for now. Um, we'll leave you off with a nice shot of most of the full piece. However, I can adjust it to get that in here. A nice focus on Sarah. She looks good. This looks good. This looks really good. Um, I'll have to do more coloring streams like this more often, I think. Because this is nice and fun. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There's a Streamlabs notification. What? Oh, dude! Somebody donated $5 to the donor drive. That's fucking awesome. Busy Harris, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that $5. That's amazing. I think we're up to, to 29 out of our $100 goal now. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, 29 out of $100 now. That is awesome. Thank you so much for coming by and donating that. That is so cool. You finished the prologue? I will I will give it a look when I get some food. Thank you very much, darling. That'll be that'll be something nice to read uh, when I get done making some lunch. But yeah, no, let's um, we're gonna wrap up here. This looks really good. Um, let's. Should we find, let's find somebody to raid. Who should we raid? Who should we raid? Syndicate's offline. Uh, is Becky Mom playing Minecraft? Hold on, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see who's online doing what. Uh, out of who all I follow. And then we'll go do, a, we'll go do a little raid. A little raid. Yeah, I think she's playing like some high pixel and some bed wars. I'm gonna stop the music here. So yeah, we're gonna go raid Becky Amon. I hope I'm saying her username right. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Everybody who came by had fun today hanging out in the stream and vibing. It was it was some good fun. <laughs> Alright. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll see you next time.